Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm back with a very exciting update. This is for the uh, brand new Surface Pro X, and uh, we're doing a more extensive, in-depth uh, review for artists. All right, so here's the first thing that we're going to do is we're going into Sketchable, which was the only additional drawing app that doesn't have uh, built-in stabilization, as far as I know where we could really test uh, the performance of the pens. So using the Bamboo Ink, um, this is a two button stylus. It does not have tilt. It's currently $39. Um, I definitely don't recommend it. The lines are horrible. Uh, the next pen that we're going to test is uh, the Slim Pen. And it's got a nice clean line, uh, really, pretty narrow. Um, it's very slim, <laughs> which uh, I think is expected. And this is the Yobwin, the Yobwin two button stylus, which worked really well on the Surface Pro 6. And this one is not working uh, at all, really on the Surface Pro X. I definitely do not recommend it. Uh, I also took the uh, Lacaromo, Lacaromo, uh, stylus that I had in the other review, and I just I uh, actually returned it because it performed so poorly. Um, here's the standard Surface Pen, and it performs in in my uh, to me it feels exactly like the ink, uh, maybe like a tiny 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 bit worse than the ink, or not quite as good as the ink. And then this is my favorite stylus. This is the uh, Raphael Five. And these lines don't look especially wonderful, but um, it actually performs very well. And this one is um, forty-four dollars. So the Slim Pen is a hundred and forty-four dollars, and the Raphael Five is forty-four. And you can see that it magnetically attaches to the right side of the um, Surface Pro X. It is, isn't it? So uh, here we are with Slim Stylus. I know you guys wanted to hear what it sounded like uh, with the clickiness of the buttons, so I wanted to add that in. And we're gonna do a tilt and line test in OneNote. And I do think that OneNote is a wonderful program to test in uh, because it's stock on every machine. And it's one that I do the majority of my inking in. And so I really wanna know what that's like. So this is the Raphael is second. The Slim Pen was first. You can see it supports tilt. Uh, the next one here is the Yabwin. And doing a little better, but really laggy. Again, I don't recommend this one at all for the Surface Pro X. Next one is the Bamboo Ink. This one does not support tilt. And you can see that uh, OneNote's having a hard time adjusting. Uh, I believe it might be taking tilt information from a previous stroke, but I'm not sure. And then here's the surface, the standard surface pen. And it performs uh, just like the slim pen and very similar to the um, Raphael 5. I'll, I'll write the names here of each of the different styluses. Uh, the main difference between the uh, the Surface Pen and the Raphael 5 is, um, I think the Raphael 5 has a better um, pressure curve um, by default. And the Surface Pen comes in a little heavy right in the beginning, so all of your lines look like ink instead of like uh, pencil. So I, I also tried to install uh, Photoshop and uh, kick back this 32-bit uh, version and it will send me to a specific uh, install file and so I followed through with that and it kicked back an error message saying that it it thought that the Version of Photoshop that it was trying to install was a phony version So it looks like they haven't quite got all of their uh, systems in place for Photoshop yet But the device is not out and this is um, Not a full version of the operating system on this machine either so be patient. Uh, I will continue to try to uh, provide more information on the Surface Pro X as it becomes available. 
and I am planning on picking one up to do uh, more tests with uh, so that you guys know what to expect and what works and what doesn't. And by the way, Expressy and OpenGL 2.1 did not work. All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Um, please subscribe if you found any of this useful and click the notifications icon to be alerted to more information in the future. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.